think what I love most about being a mom is learning everything all over again. And then learning how my kids learn. So it's really, you know, it opens you up to so much wonder to see them wonder and marvel at the world. So when you, like, first discovering flavors, you know, or the first time they swim or the first time they bake something successfully, you know, all those little victories, like, I think that's one of the greatest things about being a parent is that you get to share all these little triumphs and then you experience it again for the first time. And it's even like the joy is exacerbated because you're so happy for them. It was a Sunday night and basically I woke up at 2 a.m. and the bed was wet. So I went to the bathroom and I I, I noticed that there was blood and I thought, well, why, why is there blood? Like, there shouldn't be blood. And they said, you know, lie down for 30 minutes and see, like, what happens. So if you stand up and you're still leaking, then your water has broken. So I did that. And after 30 minutes, I stood up and sure enough, there was still, you know, there was still fluid coming out and there was still blood. So I woke James up and I said, we have to go to the hospital because this is not normal. So as soon as we got to the hospital, we had to get an ultrasound to see what was going on inside. And basically, there was just enough water to surround him, but I had lost almost all the water in my bag. So what happened was in order to stop the water from coming out is I had to be inverted so that we were fighting gravity. And they were trying to refill the bag by injecting me with fluids and making me drink a lot of water. I was drinking something like 330 ml every hour. So the goal was to get Gray to 34 weeks, which is a better chance for a preemie, you know, because all of the organs would be better formed and he'd have a better chance. And I thought, okay, we're just gonna have to weather this storm for seven weeks. But towards the evening, the baby, Gray started to go into distress. Everything we were trying to do to refill the fluid wasn't working. So they're just, they really had to pull him out because it was safer for him to be out than to be in. He was born at exactly 11 o'clock on December 21, which was the night of the Christmas star. It sounds trite, but it's true that every day is a gift. And when you are living day to day because of the NICU experience, do you really feel that? Part of the NICU experience is getting to know all the other babies in the NICU. So because I visited my son every day, I got to see all the other babies every day. And I saw a couple of babies who didn't make it out of the NICU. There were so many emotions I felt that day. Of course, I was happy to visit my son and I was happy to be with him. And leaving, I felt guilty because my baby was okay. And here they had to say goodbye to their baby. So. I couldn't imagine what they were going through, like how, how painful it must be because your child is just at the start of life and now it has to end. And I think it was that moment that really made me want to do something for, for Miki parents whose, whose babies don't make it. So I approached the Kisada of Rotary Club of Makati Premier and I said, I have this idea for this project. Do you think the club can take it on? And she said, I think it's a really beautiful idea. So we thought about, okay, we're, we're gonna ask for fabric donations and we're gonna ask for wedding dress donations and turn them into burial gowns for babies to one, be more sustainable and to lower the costs. But we're also providing livelihood for the seamstresses. So it's constant sewing of gowns for as long as we have fabric, we are sewing. So it supports them as mothers in that sense. And also the funeral subsidy and the grief counseling is what will really help, you know, families get through this. The gift of Levi also means being able to give moms an added gift. I think as a mom, one of your joys is dressing your children and putting them in really nice clothes. So I think this is the added gift. If this is the only time that these families or these parents are going to get to dress their child, you know, 
being able to put them in something really beautiful, like I wanted to be able to give them that gift as well. Because if it's the only time, then they might as well be wearing something really pretty.